Okay, what's going on? Marco here. Today I'm going to go over something that can literally crucial stuff and it can empower you for your life. Okay, um, there's a lot of BS lies out there. I'm going to show you how CNN, MSNBC, all these disgusting clown, silly, goofy journalists talk all that opinionated crap and they are not there to help you. Don't get it twisted. This, it's, it's actually the opposite of that. And I'm going to show you proof how it's all lies and BS. Okay. And it, it will completely ruin your life. Like it, I'm telling you right now, they say the difference between rich and poor is what you do in your spare time. So I'm just saying, get rid of, of the news. Okay. Just stop it. You could shut it off right now and pick that up in 20 years, turn it back on and the same things will be on. Drama, robbing, stealing, hurting, bad news. Why? Because they know. They think they they just depend on everybody to be stupid, and they they think everyone's dumb. They know it's literally like hypnosis 101, <laughs> marketing 101. That that greed, like like negativity, drama. It just I mean, our brains are wired to attract to it. Like, oh, oh, what's going on? And they put it in the headlines. They put it in the content. And they're not there to help you. They're the, they are there to get your eyeballs because the more eyeballs they can attract with the drama and the, and the, the you know, anticipation and all the marketing 101 stuff, the more they can get the eyeballs, the more eyeballs they get, the more money they make from the ads. They'll do whatever it takes to get more eyeballs. All right. So questions. Do you hate greed? Do you dislike greedy people? Do you hate liars? All right. If you notice, they always look for inconsistencies. Like they'll look for something that somebody said like four years ago. And if they said, if their opinion or something is different and it's inconsistent with that person said four years ago, then they're a liar because they know that we all hate liars and the things that we don't like, it will just, our, our eyeballs will suck right to it. Right. And they know all this stuff. It's so easy to hypnotize people, right? You've seen how quick it, it can happen in a bar, you know, with a hypnosis stuff going on. Somebody's on top of a table, you know, acting like a chicken, right? You know how easy it is to program people? So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to, this is proof that this is what they're doing. Okay. Now, remember when Trump, <laughs> okay. So first of all, I'm not going political at all. Don't, you know, go to emotion. I'm, I'm asking, I'm inviting you to think logically about what the, the information that I'm telling you so you can be empowered moving forward as all this inflation and recession and all the stuff that they're crap that they're going to talk. Okay. But I'm going to show you how like greed liars, you know, that, that get you to hate people. Do you hate racists? Right? Because they know if you hate something like that, Oh, you're going to get, you're going to get into it. Okay. And you're going to be attracted to it. So look at this. I'm just going to give you a couple examples. Why we want you to be rich. Some of these books have changed my life. Look at that. This is an older book, right? But there's a white guy. Does, does that guy look white? He looks kind of dark and he's Asian, right? And this, these are really good friends that write books together. Okay. That empower you, not disempower you like all the other ones. I'm going to show you proof. But you would have to be like to be, listen to CNN and MSNBC and these like Don Lemon jerk. You would have to be at a level where you think WWE is real and Jerry Springer is real. Okay, now when when they said, I'm am just using Trump, but I'm not. This isn't political. Just look, use Trump as an example, because the word Trump was their number one asset, right? That's why you heard it so much in the news because. He caused, he was controversial. He caused eyeballs. He causes eyeballs, right? And they get paid from the eyeballs. So they would be in the, the, in the headlines, in the content. They made all their money and they loved that. Now it's the war or anything else, right? The, their, their whole idea is to get that money. They'll do whatever it takes. But remember when he goes, uh, you know, oh, when they were all saying, he's a crook. He doesn't pay his taxes, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, well, that doesn't make me a crook. It makes me smart. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's not going to take the time to, to explain and convince dumbasses, you know, that are calling him names and stuff. He's not going to help them, like, sit there and educate them, right? He's just going to go, oh, I don't know, okay, suffer then, right? But it's all information that's sitting and waiting for you. There's two tax categories, one for the rich, one for the poor. One for the poor, you know, the, the employees... 
They don't get any tax breaks. It's the business owners that get the tax breaks. So there's one for the poor, one for the rich. Rich, rich people, you know, business owners get all the tax breaks. And this is why we show people how to start a business and make extra money, but pay less in taxes because you have tax breaks and stuff. All this stuff goes together, but you have to reach out. We've literally figured out how to do these kind of things. Oh, battery. We've literally figured out how to do these things, you know, start businesses with zero risk, zero out of pocket, so there's no excuses, equal playing field. I'm not going to get into that now, but you can reach out and ask questions for this, for that kind of stuff. But now you got to ask yourself, would you yourself pay more than you were legally obligated to pay in taxes. Would you pay more taxes if you weren't obligated to do that legally? Would you pay more than you had to? No, right? So I'm going to show you what happened there. When this is just, I mean, I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax person. I'm not giving you financial advice, but I'm going to show you the principles of what we do and what I do when I invest. And it's completely legal. It's called spreading the losses. Okay, now watch this. And you can have these same benefits by you becoming a business owner and doing and making extra money and, and living a life of abundance. And then you can help other people like I'm doing, right? So you can either empower people or just talk crap and disempower people. Like the, the people, you know, some of these politicians, they're saying, oh, we can help you. We should take from the rich and give it to the poor. And they say, oh, I'll take care of you. You know what happens when they do that? They, they teach you how to put your hand out. And they know, they know that because when you, when you do that, it actually disempowers you and you need them more because you didn't learn how to do it for yourself. That's why they say never just give a man a fish. You teach him how to fish because you disempower them. When we would go to Alaska and ride the helicopters snowboarding on the mountains, we'd come down and in our spare time, we'd you know go searching around and me messing around and we'd film the eagles. And there's, there's actually these herring fish, frozen herring fish that you can buy from the store to fish you know for for big fish and things like that right for lures but they say do not if we catch you giving those fish to the eagles because you can throw those things in there and you'll see those eagles swoop down and grab them up they say if we catch you doing that feeding these eagles you're going to go to jail and you're going to get fined because you know what happens is you ruin those eagles you make them lazy so they don't hunt for themselves and you actually ruin their life that's the principle, okay? Now, now, so you can go take advice and do what they tell you. Oh, I'll take care of you. You know what happens when you need them? Then they get to keep their jobs and make more money. You just pay your taxes, go to work and back, pay your taxes, don't ask any questions. Just watch beer and football and be entertained and be a consumer so you never have any time to read any tax books or tax laws and it's not what you make. Here's the, the principle, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. And one drowning person is useless to another drowning person. So if you're struggling and broke and paycheck to paycheck, never have any money, there's more month than money. It's because, man, you can't help anybody else because you can't even help yourself, right? It's, it's the wealthy people that can help people because they have the actual proven results and they can teach you. But if you're talking crap as a negator, they're not going to teach you. That's how it goes. It's a touchy subject, right? You got to be humble and approachable or no, you have to approach and reach out and ask questions and be humble and, and be open-minded to learn and empower yourself so you can help other people. That's the thing. Okay, now watch this. Here's the principle. Okay, say you're, you're a multimillionaire, right? And you, you, make, you, you build businesses and you make a bunch of money. Okay, so say he makes, say so Trump makes 50 million for the year, right? Bunch, a couple businesses. Of course, every business has overhead. So it took him 30 million to make the 50 million, right? So you make 50 million, but you're going to write off about 30 million. So it's called overhead, cost of doing business. You're going to write it off. It's called write-offs. So then you have 20 million left and your total income for the year was 20 million. Okay. So basically that's what you would pay taxes on about maybe, I don't know the exact numbers. I'm not a CPA or anything tax person, but you know, say, say you'd pay about 7 million that year. All right. Nothing wrong. That's normal, simple stuff. Okay. The next year you make another 50 million. And then you have 30, you know, 30 million in overhead. So your total income for the year was, you know, you're not going to pay taxes on 50. You're going to pay taxes on 20 because that was your total income after, after overhead. So you'd pay about seven, right? But instead, now remember when Trump lost bunches of money, millions and millions of dollars in um, one of his uh, ventures was the casinos. Remember the casinos? He saw, apparently he lost like $75 million or something like that. And so we, what you can do is spread those losses out against the taxes you've paid and that you're going to pay. Did you know that? That's a law. See, the tax laws are not built for employees. They're built for business owners. 
and, it, and they learn how to take advantage of them, right? And you can become a business owner with zero risk. You just have to take action. We'll show you how. Okay, now watch. So he took a loss of, of 75 million, okay? Now, if you make 50 million, you have overhead of 30, you have 20 left, right? So you could, you could actually take that loss of 75 and you'd be at zero, right? And so you'd pay zero in taxes because your total income would be zero. But here's the thing. I wouldn't take 75 on just one year because I, all I could write off is 20. So I, I'd be at zero if I did, you know, just, just 75 for that year. So I'm gonna, not going to take 75 loss for the, the one year. I'm going to spread that loss out. So maybe say I'll only take 20 of that 75 and I'll write off 20 and I'll take a loss of 20. So if my, you know, if I have 30 in overhead, that leaves 20, but then I have 20 of loss, that means zero. So I'm total income was zero. So I'm going to pay zero in taxes. That's, that's literally the principle. And then the next year I would take another 20 off that 75. See, or if I made say I made 60 million and then 30, in overhead, so that would be 30. I just I'd take 30 in loss, right? I'd spread it out, but in his case, 20, so it's zero. And then again, you make 50. You have 30 in overhead that leaves 20, so there's 20 minus 20 in overhead or in a tax loss. Spread that loss out. So see, 20, 20, 20. That's 60, 60 million in loss. So you're taking zero again. So that leaves 15 million. So the next year, say he makes 50 million again, 30 in overhead, so that leaves 20. You have 15 left, so minus 15, that means 5 million, and then you would pay taxes on 5 million, not 50 million. That's legal. That's the way it goes down, right? Is that, that's proof, like literally, it, if you know that, you're not going to be all mad and like having the same opinion as silly, goofy clown Don Lemon or any of these people on MS, you know, these journalists. The journalists, you got to watch out who you take advice from. These journalists are employees in a little cubicle. They don't know anything about money, like business or money or anything. So they just spout off talking all this crap, disempowering you, thinking, you know, getting you to believe that you don't have the power to do this. Would you want to be empowered or disempowered? You want to, you, you got to watch out where you think you're being right from, right? Because this is, this, this is getting deeper, but listen, if you set yourself at a certain belief, Right. If you stick to and defend that belief, then you're stuck, aren't you? Right. If you have a disempowering belief or, you know, any belief, if you stick to it and defend it, then you're stuck there and you got to be, be there. Right. And, and so it would be it's kind of hard for people once they get caught in a belief system. They don't want to change that and show everybody because that would make them inconsistent and nobody wants to be looked at as a liar. Right. So I had to really become open-minded, meet millionaires, learn what they know, and then I got what they got. You get the results that they get if you take advice from them. Never take advice from broke, struggling, paycheck to paycheck, middle class, you know, if you, unless you want to struggle paycheck to paycheck, you'll get the same results. So when I stopped doing that, I started listening to wealthy friends, I got those results and I'm able to empower other people. One drowning person is useless to another drowning person, so you got to watch out who you take advice from, okay? And so be open to changing your mind to empower yourself because you could be right from everybody's right from their level, right? If you want to be right from this level, then you might struggle. If you want to be right from this level that I'm telling you, you'll be empowered and you'll change your life. Now watch who you would, who would you want to take advice from the reporter who reports on people who make things happen and give people things to talk about, right? And they just report on history. They don't really do anything or, or, you know, go out there and take risks and make things happen. They're just reporting and talking crap on other people who actually make things happen, right? And they sit in their little cubicle, okay? Now they were hired by somebody who's the boss. Now the boss, the owner of that big company that they work for, that Don Lemon works for, do you think he's what do you think he's doing? You think he's doing what Don Lemon's doing or do you think he's doing what Trump, the other boss is doing? Taking losses, you know, doing investments and then taking losses and spreading that loss out for a tax break. What do you think? Right? You got to think, you know, you got to, you got to ask yourself, would you pay more than you're ob obligated to pay in taxes? Would you pay more in taxes if you didn't have to? So, they're doing the same thing. And the reason why Don Lemon has his job or any of these journalists have their job is because they have that opinion. And the owners know 
that they'll just hire that person, any person with that same opinion to cause all that drama and be all opinionated and <laughs> because they know it's going to attract your eyeballs. And that's all they're worried about. Is getting, you know, they want that money, right? And the employee, the journalist wants their job. And if they didn't have that opinion, they'd be canned and they just, you know, the owners would just put somebody else with that opinion to get you all riled up and attract your eyeballs for drama, right? Okay. Does that make sense? That's why he didn't pay, he paid zero in taxes for those years. I would do the same thing and I think you would too, right? So, not saying it's fake, it's just, do, do you see Trump in jail? Do you see him getting fined, right? They expect you to be stupid and, and forget about all this. I'm not gonna let you forget. If you don't forget and you understand you're being hypnotized and disempowered every single day, it's so easy. It's like marketing one-on-one. It's just nuts. And we know how to help people out of those. We have all the solutions. There's, there's solutions at every level. There's levels to this stuff. If you're broke, you got to find the first solutions, right? Start some side, kind of side project and make extra money and then start to learn your taxes and you know all that kind of stuff and then you can invest and compound your income and have tra- tax free wealth and leverage and automation and systems and all kinds of you know extra jargon that I'm not going to get into right here but I think that's a little bit of proof and I hope that makes sense if that makes sense to you I mean drop comments either way let me know your thoughts uh, this is why I, uh, this video might go on like the secret pages cuz I'm not sure how you know touchy and I don't want it to come off like it's, it's kind of overboard. <laughs> so if if you like that kind of stuff and you want more, feel free, reach out. There, we're on fire helping so many people, thousands and thousands of people with different groups, depending on what level and where you're at, what you need, different strategies, lifestyles, extra channels of income coming into your business, passing down legacies, anything financial, all of it. So. Much love, guys. Hope that was valuable. We'll see you on the next one.